it's a fundamental and it's a fundamental reason why I'm selling Luna. And I, I want to show you why I'm selling Luna. So as I said to you, I've made 400x on it. I have staked it. I've got millions of airdrops. I've invested in the ecosystems. I've invested in Astroport, Kujira, Orc. Uh, I've had I've had the best history with Luna. I love Doquan. I speak to him on Telegram every now and then. Um, love the other investors. But the reason why I'm selling is as follows. When I invested in Luna, I put like 1% of my portfolio into Luna. And the rest of my portfolio was 99%. And that was cool. Like I had 1% of my portfolio in Luna. It was a small coin and it grew. It just grew and grew and grew. The problem is that when I look at my portfolio now, that's what my portfolio looks like. Because Luna's done 400 or 500x. And my portfolio now looks like Pac-Man's trying to eat it. That's what's going on. And Luna's basically eating up my whole portfolio. So what started off as this, just by hodling, became more than 60% of my portfolio. And as much as I love Luna, and I do love Luna, and as much as I think that the chances of Luna um, failing are very, very, very small, what I don't want to do is wake up one morning and think to myself that 60% of my portfolio has been wiped off because for the 0.0001% that something does happen to the stablecoin or to Terra or, I don't know, to Do Kwan, I, I think Luna is devoid of Do Kwan. It's much bigger than Do Kwan at the moment. But I don't want to wake up one morning and lose 60% of my portfolio. So what am I doing? I'm just taking probably a third of my Luna position, maybe less, maybe 25% of my Luna position. And over a period of about 12 months, I'm going to start lightening up on my Luna position. And so now the question you ask yourself is, well, what are you going to buy with that money? Because what are you going to buy with that money? And the answer is very simple. I've selected five or six coins, which I think are about the same risk profile as Luna. Now, why do I say that is because I could take this money and I could invest this money into highly speculative bottom coins and that might do 150x, but that's not what I want to do with, them, with the money. I want to keep the same risk profile in my portfolio. And so I'm taking that and I'm investing in probably six, seven coins. I'm putting my money into Bitcoin. I'm putting my money into Ethereum. I'm putting my money into Arweave. Putting my money into Solana. Putting my money into Avalanche. Um, and I'm putting my money into Thorchain. So I'm really selling 25% over of my Luna position over a period of 12 months, say. And I'm going to put that into safer assets. And that way, even though I really, really, really have conviction uh, I really, really, really have to have conviction about what's going on with, on with Luna. I don't have the risk that one day I wake up in the morning and 60% of my portfolio has been wiped because one token has been wiped. This has made my portfolio very big. And as a result of that, I don't want to take a huge knock one day just because something happened to one token. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the responsible thing. And the responsible thing is even if you love the token, you need to be looking at your portfolio from time to time and you need to be rebalancing that portfolio. And that is why I'm selling some of my Luna and I'm doing it responsibly over a period of 12 months and I'm doing it in such a way where I'm taking that and I'm investing it into other layer one projects with similar risk profiles, not same, but similar risk profiles. Mm -hmm.